Hello Libras. Um, I do feel that deep down you might have started new projects, you might have started new relationships, even um, you know, new income generating endeavors. Um, and you're not sure about its potential. A lot of you are kind of like cycling through worst case scenario and you're kind of gauging, you know, just oh it's a uh, it requires too much work or the payout is going to be, you know, um, stalled, delayed, and it's frustrating. You know, it, it, it is frustrating to deal with these um, stalled red light type of energy. And um, it's urging you that, you know, patience is going to be very vital here. And at the same time, the strength card is, um, is about courage, okay? So in this situation, um, I do feel that your sense of inner courage is suppressed here. And it's because you are trying to maintain the peace in a interpersonal relationship. That's not going to serve you in the long run. So be very, very careful, Libra. Um, we are dealing with Mercury in retrograde until June 11th. And it is in your sign. It's in an air sign. Um, it is really important. So for those of you who are dealing with this like on an extensive basis, if this is something that is a repeated pattern that's coming back in, it requires your attention and Mercury in, in retrograde is going to bring up old problems from the past so that you can deal with them adequately okay once you properly dealt with them they're not going to cycle back in so for a lot of you um, this might be a situation that is cycling through and it requires that you deal with it properly this time around so that it's not going to affect you into the future you're lacking the strength and you're lacking the the courage to do it so for Libras who are dealing with like um, almost you know male or female who are dealing with like an overpowering energy somebody who's very domineering and you don't know how to it's kind of like communication is um, this person might be explosive they might be verbally abusive as well and um, when they're doing that, it's because they're operating from a place of fear, of anxiety as well, okay? Keep that in mind because um, it's kind of like, you know, the, um, the bark is, I guess, worse than the bite, okay? So maybe they need to be put in their place. Maybe, you know, you need to say a few words. You need to act out of character here and set them in their place so that way they don't bully you, for example, if, for those who are dealing with that type of situation. Yeah, so it's the same energy that is coming through here. You feel a little bit powerless. You feel that this situation can't be turned around for the better. And um, you don't know what to do, okay? So it is going to be a little bit problematic if this is an ongoing issue and there's no end in sight. So you are trying all possibilities, but I do feel that... Um, your intuition is telling you the right thing to do. It's just a matter of implementing it and having the courage to follow it through rather than, you know, dabbling in multiple solutions and um, not getting a, and getting like a jumbled result and not give, getting like a consistent result out of it so that at least you know how to rule out your options, okay? So, you know, use the process of elimination, okay? So this is basically the card of illusion. Um, so for example, you have all these choices laid out in front of you. If you proceed with like choice A, find out what's going to happen. So do that first and then, you know, see what's going to happen. And then if that doesn't give you a favorable outcome, eliminate that. And then do option B. Don't dabble in several and you end up with very jumbled result, results. So have a more systematic way of approaching this situation in general and you're going to be in a good place, okay? Okay, so on the finance front, I do feel that a lot of you might have started new employment opportunities, might come into a little bit of a pay raise here. This is also a very young energy, so um, a lot of you might be Pursuing new careers that, you know, while you're not completely happy with or you're learning a new trade and then the people around you are kind of like um, the supervisors, the other people who have seniority in that company, in that organization or in that work situation or work environment that you're dealing with. They might uh, try to like uh, bully you, for example. That's one way that that can work, work out. 
and you're okay with it because you feel that you know as a rookie that's what you're supposed to do when in fact it's not fair you know don't let them do that to you because it's going to set like a dangerous precedent for the next person and in general if there is like a power struggle within an organization and it gets that bad when you've just started it is going to cycle back around and it is going to be an ongoing issue so that's something to keep in mind and really you know try to um, try to mitigate conflicts early on trying to uh, try to establish you, where you stand and where others cannot encroach and you know upon your space so that this situation doesn't happen later on okay so establish firm rules on how other people can treat you so that um, they don't encroach upon you know your own sense of um, identity okay more than anything okay so we have the king of pentacles very good card king of cups very good card here okay and the knight of wands in the reverse so the chariot and the knight of wands okay so let's see here for those of you who are dealing with earth signs and water signs in general i do feel that um yeah this is a new work environment a lot of you might have traveled in the past to to um, take on a new work environment and unfortunately this new work environment um, does so if we're reading this as like a past energy this new work environment um, seemed very very promising and when you get to it you're going to initially you know hit these stumbling blocks and you're dealing with these very very like type a very um, almost like aggressive people and you don't really know where to turn it's a new work environment so give it some time but at the same time establish firm boundaries okay earth is all about boundaries here so for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign in general I do feel that this person has your best interests at heart um, they might not be aware of the issues that you are going through if that's something that you're concerned about and you're wondering why they're not available to help you or they're not um, they seem like very detached it's because they're kind of like wrapped up in their own thing not to be selfish or anything but they're actually just not aware of it okay so if you need help you really have to approach this person head on and you can't be evasive about it okay and they're going to help you for those of you who are dealing with like an er a water sign like a cancer pisces or a scorpio what i do feel in general is that um the magician is pointing towards this king of cups and it can play out as a female or a male but i do see that in a works type of situation um, this person is going to be very instrumental in helping you navigate this type of energy for this month, okay? So if there is a water sign, um, possibly someone who is, who's very level-headed, who's very mature, and who's very, very supportive, okay? And I do sense this person might be just like a little bit older than yourself. This, he comes across as a um, paternal figure, but in these general general readings he can be a she as well so he or she has a very very soothing presence so I feel that you're going to know who this person is because uh, when they're around your um, your atmosphere seems to stabilize okay these two people in general when you're around them or when they're in your pre uh, when you're in their presence or when they're in your midst things start to calm down things start to stabilize they are very decisive and they are they can command like trust respect and they possess a sense of authority okay so in general um, because this is earth and water they are going to be slow in reacting so whatever news it is that is circulate, circulating in your work environment or even in your relationships or even you know in any type of a situation in which you have these very strong figureheads and you're trying to like get them to help you it is going to be slow okay they are going to delay it a little bit because they want to see how you are going to handle it yourself okay so it's kind of like um you know everyone is starting out from scratch they want to see who is going to shine who's going to um who has like leadership potential okay so they're kind of like very hands-off and they're letting you you know um, solve situations yourself in a creative way and in a very diplomatic way as well because these two are very diplomatic okay they don't burn bridges they mend bridges 
so they're trying to like um, let all the new people come into their own and let the new people exert their influence in this new work environment in this new organization even in this new relationship so they're putting you through a test almost just to see how resourceful you are how strong and brave you are and at the same time how much you are kind of like uh, how able you are in balancing out you know your rationality and your sense of like emotional ties to other people so doing the right things and in general taking you know um, taking that big step is going to be um, it might be difficult for a lot of you but I do sense that you're being put on stage here you have to like shine your best and you have to stay true to your values okay so for those of you who are dealing with this situation in a work environment I do sense that you know you are being observed they're going to feel as if you know they're very nonchalant about this whole observation process but they're actually you're under their radar okay so they are aware of what you're doing and they really want you to step up and be management be supervisory material so you know with great responsibilities um, they want somebody who is capable of wearing those shoes, okay? So who are capable of making those very difficult decisions and who are tact about making these decisions. So I hope that makes sense to you. This is just a very strong energy I am sensing. We have two kings. So, you know, these are people who are grooming others for their position once they're gone. So they want to choose the right person, okay? Because, um... Earth and water again. It's um, it's somebody. So if you have a somebody who is a merger of earth and water, they are very stable. They are very intuitive. At the same time, um, they are very diplomatic. The sword energy is more like very curt, very frank. But um, earth and water kings, they are very diplomatic, and they want somebody who's firm but um, diplomatic okay so those two things will help you along in your career for this month for those of you who are dealing with this in a type of a career structure setting so firm firmness and diplomacy those are like the two key words so keep that in mind okay I hope that's helpful for somebody out there who's dealing and navigating this um, this office politics types of situation um, so if you're you know at a loss for what to do Firmness and diplomacy. Firmness and diplomacy here. So um, for those of you who are, you know, not dealing with this in a work environment yourself and do it in a way that is um, more in alignment with your moral values, okay? That's going to um, carry you further down the line. And it's also going to command respect from the people that you deal with, okay? So keep that in mind as well. And uh, what I am sensing here is that... Um, the magician here is in the reverse position. It is pointing to the King of Cups, who's also looking at the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands in the reverse is somebody who... Um, so I, I feel like missed opportunities here. If opportunities come up for you... Okay, so I'm looking at this cluster here. So this is basically, you know, the way out. This is like the, the path that you need to intuitively know so that you can have success. So he's pointing here and then he's looking here. So the Knight of Wands here is the area of focus and what it is is um, the horns. So it's someone who's kind of like um, nibbling at life from the sidelines rather than emerging.